The 25 Best Pigeon Forge Restaurants The most challenging part of a Pigeon Forge vacation may as well be picking a place to eat. Certainly, there are options, and options, and options, and it can be hard to decide what to have on a Wednesday night at home. So of course, deciding what to eat on the road is that much more difficult. A few ground rules. First, we're going to try to avoid most of the basic chains. Second, we're going to factor in experiences. In other words, you're on vacation. The experience is part of it. And finally, all things are relative. Is a pancake house really better than a steakhouse? Not by traditional accounting, but if you're looking for breakfast, do you want pancakes or filet? Now on to the show. Here are some of the best restaurants in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Number 25, Reagan's House of Pancakes. Sure, there are a lot of breakfast places and a lot of pancake places all over Pigeon Forge, but Reagan's is good enough that they opened a second location about 25 feet from the first. As a bonus, it's also a budget-friendly restaurant. Number 24, Paula Deen's Family Kitchen. Some people love eating at Paula Deen's. Admittedly, they know how to make a really good biscuit. Overall, it's pretty good food and one of the most popular restaurants among visitors. But you see, Paula Deen is a Georgian. The food is Southern style. It's just different than most East Tennessean Southern cooking. Number 23, Calhoun's. Calhoun's is classic barbecue done perfectly. This East Tennessee powerhouse offers consistent, high-quality food, and it's a southern barbecue dining experience that the whole family can enjoy. Number 22, Pigeon Forge Deli. Pigeon Forge Deli is located on East Wares Valley Road, in the corner of two buildings. Try the house-made pimento cheese BLT and thank us later. The restaurant is currently closed on Sundays. Number 21, Bullfish Grill. Sure, it's a chain, but it's not a restaurant you're going to see in just any town. For many, Bullfish Grill is a rare treat. They specialize in shrimp and seafood. Number 20, Junction 35. Junction 35 is a distillery with a kitchen and bar that specializes in handcrafted cocktails, slow-cooked barbecue, and farm-raised burgers. It's a delicious spot to grab a bite to eat, conveniently located in the tower shops at the Mountain Mile. Number 19, Gaucho Urbano. Brazilian Steakhouse. Bring us your finest meats, your most delicious steaks, and be quick about it. We love a Brazilian steakhouse. A variety of all-you-can-eat meats brought to your table on skewers? Yes, please. Number 18, the Hard Rock Cafe. We are children of the late 80s and 90s when Hard Rock was cool. The Hard Rock is conveniently located in the heart of Pigeon Forge along the Strip. It may be a bit overpriced, but would we rather eat a juicy burger at O'Charlie's surrounded by unoffending regional artwork, or at the Hard Rock, next to some pants Pete Townsend wore in 1978? Number 17, Big Daddy's Pizzeria. At Big Daddy's Pizzeria, they are so committed to freshness, there ain't a freezer in the place. If you've never eaten at a brick oven pizzeria, it's certainly different than your average pie. You're familiar with pizza's work, and in all likelihood, you're a fan. Number 16, Mellow Mushroom. There's a good chance that one night you're gonna wanna keep it simple. And Mellow Mushroom is in fact one of the best in town. Even though it's a chain restaurant, it's still one of our favorite places to get a good pizza. Number 15, Harpoon Harry's Crab House. A dual concept by restaurant people out of Florida, Harpoon Harry's offers a change of pace from Southern fare. They offer a traditional crab house menu, but with the added bonus of a quality sushi bar. Generally considered the best sushi in Pigeon Forge, Harpoon Harry's offers a delightful change of pace from fried chicken and pancakes. Number 14, Huck Finn's Catfish. Maybe you want a traditional twist on seafood entrees, something between Mamo's and Harpoon Harry's. In that case, Huck Finn's Catfish is the place for you. Number 13, Alamo's Steakhouse. There are several good steakhouses in Pigeon Forge. In fact, there are several legitimate arguments that Alamo Steakhouse should be first. We feel a little bad ranking them here, but we don't mean it as an insult. This is just one of the best steaks you can get in the Smokies, cooked to perfection. Number 12, Smoky Mountain Brewery. You can never go wrong with the idea of beer and pizza. Smoky Mountain Brewery has traditional pub food, including fries, fried pickles, burgers, sandwiches, and subs. They also have live music on select nights. Number 11, Frizzle's Chicken Farmhouse. Is Frizzle's Chicken Farmhouse really a better restaurant than Alamo Steakhouse? Well, let us answer that question with a question. Does Alamo offer tasty breakfast fare and animatronic chickens who serenade you by clucking Frozen's Let It Go? We didn't think so. 
Now for our top 10. Number 10, Timberwood Grill. The Timberwood Grill is located within the island in Pigeon Forge. The restaurant specializes in authentic mountain dining with soups, salads, burgers, sandwiches, steak, chicken, and ribs. It's nothing fancy, it's nothing pretentious, but it's the best dining option on the island. Number 9, Cielito Lindo. Pigeon Forge has surprisingly few Mexican options. Almost every place has some kind of Mexican something or other on the menu, but it's almost always an aside. If you want Smoky Mountain Tex-Mex style authenticity, try Cielito Lindo. Number 8, Brick and Spoon. It's hard to mess up breakfast foods. Sausage, egg, bacon, all delicious. But Brick and Spoon is a step above. A breakfast, lunch, and brunch spot that's growing quickly across the south. The Brick and Spoon is an upscale southern breakfast experience. Number 7. Puckett's Grocery. The best food served with style. Puckett's roots reach back to the 1950s in a little grocery store in Leaper's Fork in Middle Tennessee. The grocery store turned into a foodie haven. Since then, Marshall Hospitality has opened five other local restaurants. Number 6. Blue Moose Burgers. Blue Moose Burgers and Wings bills itself as Pigeon Forge's only family sports grill and best kept secret by local residents since 2007. However, that secret is getting out. Blue Moose is growing in popularity and for good reason. It's affordable, it has good food and good service. Number 5. The Local Goat. The Local Goat is one of the more popular restaurants in Pigeon Forge, which means sometimes it can be difficult to get a table. As one of the top Pigeon Forge restaurants, they feature a scratch kitchen with locally sourced menu items. Number 4. Little Black Bear Cafe. A teeny tiny breakfast lunch spot located on Veterans Parkway, the Little Black Bear Cafe isn't going to wow you with menu options. It's a basic breakfast, a basic lunch, but it's done to perfection. Do you want something more memorable for your vacation? The Little Black Bear Cafe is memorable for all the right reasons. But be warned, wait times often reach up to two hours in the busy season. And this restaurant, like many in the area, does not take reservations. And finally, our top three. Number three, Mama's Farmhouse. If you're going to come to the mountains, you might as well try some good southern cooking. It's family style, but nothing terribly fancy. The flavors are that of a traditional home-cooked meal. Number 2. Old Mill Pottery House Cafe The Pottery House Cafe is within the historic Old Mill District. The home used to belong to a local potter. The bread is baked fresh daily, and the menu has lunch and weekend brunch. And finally, number 1. The Old Mill Restaurant Located nearby the Pottery House along Old Mill Avenue, the Old Mill Restaurant is precisely what you'd expect from an Old Mill Restaurant. It's delicious food and country cooking done well. With a wide variety of southern favorites, there's something here for the entire family. The menu features a variety of chicken, ham, meatloaf, pork, and barbecue. And most entrees are served with a side of green beans and mashed potatoes. The biscuits melt in your mouth. The country fried chicken, with gravy of course, is cooked to perfection. And the chicken and dumpling platter is a dish you won't soon forget. But be warned, this incredible restaurant isn't exactly a local secret. Expect at least a 30 minute to an hour wait, even in the slow season. In the busy season, wait times could even be greater. And they do not accept reservations. What are your top restaurants when you visit Pigeon Forge? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss our next video from thesmokies.com.